Hi, this is Shane. Welcome to Christian Labor. Please do like, subscribe, comment, uh, hit the donate button, or click on some of the ads. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks. I wanted to talk a little bit about Donald Trump, because, you know, it's Donald Trump. Uh, you can't talk about anything without talking about Donald Trump these days. I started out hating Donald Trump. Like a lot of conservatives, I just thought he was a fake. I mean, he's been a Democrat for decades. He's supported Democratic causes. Uh, and then he went to the debate this weekend, and everybody else started hating him, and I think because everybody else started hating him, I, I just naturally decided I'd like him. Uh, contrarian, call it what you will, but, you know, I wasn't offended by Megyn Kelly's question, but it was a gotcha question, and he too, bit moron can see that she was just, and she wasn't gonna let his joke about Rosie make make that moment either. She was she was going to make sure <laughs> that that moment was about him, his past, his language in the past. Now I found online, you know, she's been on TV quite a while. She's done interviews. She's said racy things herself. We all do. We all do. When we're not talking about policy, we make off-color jokes. We do these things in America, folks. We all do them. And so that's what's inappropriate about the Megyn Kelly thing and the fact that they're not going to apologize to each other and way, 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 you know, get over it. Um, did he handle it as best as he could? Probably not, but he's Donald Trump. You know, the thing that makes Donald Trump's presidential run unique is that he doesn't need the media. He is media. And we've all been complaining, on both sides of the aisle, really. We've been complaining about how the media dictates terms and sets the tone he can get around that. I don't know how he does it. He doesn't necessarily even spend any money doing it. He just runs around saying stuff, and the media runs over there and looks at him, and the next thing you know, he's got $28 billion worth of free media going on. So, the man, a lot of people run around saying Trump's stupid. Um, I've seen a handful of wealthy people who are stupid. He's not stupid. <laughs> you typically don't get really fabulously wealthy by being stupid. I don't like rich people. I Part of the reason I did not like Donald Trump is because I am deeply unfond of rich people, but what he is is the centrist that I've been whining about, and I didn't want to recognize it. You know, he's, he's against gay marriage, he's against abortion on demand, but he's not going to go off into the stratosphere with these things, and that's fine. I don't need him to go off in the stratosphere. I need him to be opposed to abortion on demand, and I don't even really need him to be opposed to gay marriage, but I do need him to be opposed to uh, suing Christians out of business anytime they don't want to participate. And, and I think he'll be there for us on that count. Um, so that's my my take on Donald for now, and uh, it will evolve. I've noticed a, lo a few references to him in the correspondence dinner some years ago where he took a lot of ribbing. Um, and I think maybe part of what's behind his change of heart is he's just tired of the stupid coupled with the rude, which is definitely my problem with the left. <laughs> I have all kinds of really progressive feelings and thoughts and ideas, but they just, they can't stand anybody who doesn't tow an invisible line that moves all the time. Basically, you have to constantly stay abreast of what's cool right this red hot minute, or else they're going to rake you. And it's all about image, and it's all about just a host of things that I hate. So in, a, in an oddball way, Donald is like the cure for that. You know, he's the, the reality TV star that thumbs his nose at all of that and says, look, the crazier things I say, the more attention you pay to me, the more free media I get. And then when you when you get him on the news and they start talking details, and this originally I hated about him. He's like, he started out saying, I'm going to build this wall. And then I saw him on TV and he was like, well, you know, in some places you need the wall, in some places you just need airplanes. It's the same position Bush takes, but he could get away with it and Bush can't. Uh, I don't know why, but he can. He, he gets away with it. Um, and that's fine with me. It probably won't work forever. Anything that I like almost instantaneously turns to crap. So since I like Trump now, you know, something will happen and they'll bury him. But for now, I like Trump. Go Trump.
Once again, this is Shane with Christian Labor. Hope you enjoyed the show. Please do like, comment, subscribe, donate, or click on some ads. We could sure use the money. Appreciate you. Take care.